Yo YouTube, this is Faded and I will be showing you guys how to make a bucket server with the latest bucket server recommended file download. Um I will update the rec to the me uh, give you the guys the recommended full files and they will be down in the link in the description. Uh, my desktop offer will be down in the link in the description. And the command will be all the commands will be down in the link in the description if you have Java six or Java seven. Or yeah, I think it's like Java six and Java seven, something like that. So first off, you're going to need the command.txt file in the craft bucket.jar. Command.txt has this. And you're going to need this. You can download it at bucket.org, I think it is. Now, what we're going to first off do is um, create a new folder. And we're going to call it test. You're going to drag these two things in here. And in the test folder here, you're going to open uh, the uh, command file, you're going to click save as, you're going to find the text file, you're going to type in as a start, dot bat, now you're going to click this, and you're going to get this to pop up, it should be done any minute, it's going to put, what this does right now, um, it's going to prepare all the files we re we need to set up our server. After we do this, we're going to show you guys how to port forward and how to fix your problem if it won't let you use the default password and username for your router. After that's done, type in stop. When it says saving chunks, you can exit out. All right, so you're going to get this stuff: plugins, world, world nether, world the, to the end. Band IPs, band players, buckets, command, craft bucket, help, OP, server permissions, server log, server log, property start. We're going to go ahead and open up the OPs. We're going to type in your username. So your username. You're going to save that. Now you're going to open up server properties. Keep everything the same here. The server port, leave that the same. World, leave that the same. Leave everything the same, make sure online mode is true and everything is correct. Now after we are done with this, you're going to exit out of this and that. Go to your start button, type in CMD. Type in IP config. Now you're going to see your default gateway. You're going to, need to copy this down onto a notepad file. After you type this in, you can exit out of CMD. Now open up your web browser. Once you're in your web browser here, you're going to go into the search bar and you're going to copy and paste, copy your default gateway and paste it into here. This will not do any harm to your computer, trust me. Now there's a website in the description. It's called portforwarding.com and you're going to find your router and to port forward. But if you have my router, go ahead and use this. My default, your default username should be admin. If not, leave it blank. Password should either be admin or password. Let's try again. After you're here to your net gear or to your thing, if you have net gear, you're going to go to advanced. You need to go into administrator. No, I think it's yeah, advanced setup. You need to click port forwarding, port triggering. Now you're going to click add custom service. Your service name you can put. Let's put test. But make sure this always says the protocol is TCP. The default port is two five five six five, two five five six five. And if you do have Netgear, choose the one that says your PC. Click it. And you want to click apply. After you're done with that, you're going to go back into your test folder. You're going to go in your server properties. Make sure whatever port you put on, you put as the port and leave everything the same. Do not put anything here for the server IP. Now, to get the server IP, you're going to go back into your web browser. 
you need to type in you're going to type in ipchicken.com you'll say you'll say current IP address this is private so you no one can DDoS you or anything like that now go into minecraft you're going to want to click login Alright, so after you're here, you're going to click multiplayer, you're going to click add server, paste this down, you're going to put a colon, that's the two dots, you put your I, your port, which it should be default if you put the default, and it has to be five letter numbers long. Now, it says cannot reach, but if you want to start your server up, you're going to go back into your test folder, you're going to go into your start, make sure you click this until it says done. There you have it. That's how you build a bucket server. If you can't sign into your router, what you're going to do is you're going to find the reset button on the back of your router, and you're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Take, then take, let go. Take the power cord out. Then you're going to wait 60 seconds to put it back in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Also, join the Papercraft server. The IP will be in the description. It's 24/7. Have fun. Enjoy and it's going to be epic peace out guys